such as the Smash Lights section, where we talk about literally anything. Under the Sun. Today's episode is going to feature some information about a radio relic. Yes, a radio relic detected in galaxy... Well, I don't know what galaxy it is. CL2023. And it's perhaps giving us some insight into the structure at the core of that galaxy. The theory is, is that it's associated with a collision. I'm not so sure. This one's got a redshift of 0.23. And it's a large galaxy with a size of 727,000 light years, something like four or five times the size of the Milky Way. And that radio relic extends about 1.6 million light years in the north-south orientation from the cluster, which is fairly interesting because it's clearly associated with the galaxy. And it's estimated to have a mass of 1,000 trillion solar masses. So 1.04 quadrillion solar masses. CL2023 is the galaxy in question. If you want to read about it, it's on phys.org's Astronomy and Space section. Thanks to NaboJ for giving us information about coffee filters. It's all at smashamash.com slash forum. Thanks, Terry, and other contributors to that. And it is in the new users forum, actually. Smashamash.com slash forum. Lots of topics available there. And this latest one is about bleached versus unbleached coffee filters, as well as some other stuff like using... Something besides tap water to make your coffee. Let's talk about Ethereum, the second most popular. We're moving into economics, folks. Second most popular cryptocurrency has reached a five-month high recently, and we're looking at it here via the Coinbase exchange. And if you wonder why I always state which exchange we're using, it's because there are some problems with the volume data especially and the different exchanges, as there's no consensus as to how to report data on cryptocurrency. So the volume data can be quite misleading, depending on which source you look at. Again, Ethereum reached a five-month high. Let's check out Bitcoin also on the Coinbase exchange. Bitcoin did not really follow that same suit there. Not sure exactly what that was that caused that to happen. Let's take a look at one more item here. And we're going to look at gold and silver. You can see gold at an astronomical high here, um, deep within a one within a five-year high, and indeed it is an all-time high. Gold at eighteen hundred and seventy-nine dollars and seventy cents an ounce. One thousand eight hundred and seventy-nine dollars and seventy cents. I'd be delighted if you return me to the same spot where I was scrolling, cnbc.com. And there's the current price of silver. Who remembers when I was reporting on it below $13 an ounce? Back in March, could not believe the way gold and silver followed the markets down. It made no sense and made the whole thing look intentionally engineered. Yes, like a scandemic. Let's talk about corruption. Apparently, corruption in St. Louis, as well as in my hometown, that is dishonesty or criminal offense undertaken by a person or organization entrusted with a position of authority. Have you noticed some authoritative figures being utterly corrupt? Well, I certainly have, such as my local code enforcement agent, who is, I think, criminally insane. St. Louis Prosecutor's Office is criminally insane also, as they reassembled Mrs. McCloskey's pistol, which was not functional when she was waving it around, famously in St. Louis, as their gated community's gate got broken in. And uh, 
Apparently, a weapon has to be readily capable of lethal use when charged with the felony that Mrs. McCloskey was charged with. What's the problem? Well, the crime lab disassembled and then reassembled the gun differently as to how Mrs. McCloskey had it assembled, with the spring behind the firing pin making it functional. Unlike how it was when this photo was taken, having the spring in front of the firing pin makes it inoperable. It will not fire. And so in order to attempt to get a guilty verdict, the uh, crime lab assistant circuit attorney Chris Hinckley is the corrupt official here, I believe, ordering crime lab staff to field strip the handgun and put it back together so it does work. Isn't that a great idea? Well done. Well done. That's called corruption, folks. This one's a Zero Hedge article. Well done, St. Louis. Well done. Let's talk about hallucination. Have you noticed people deranged and hallucinating and having hypoxia and not knowing what the hell they're talking about when it comes to infectious disease, climate change, etc.? Please do not fall victim to derangement and... Hallucination. As you may start to believe things that aren't true. Which brings me to my next point. Yes, I've, re I've written the parody song. Shut up, Fauci. Fauci, shut up. Why? Because Fauci has financial interests in vaccinations, and Fauci is a member of the deep state. I'm not sure which globalist organizations Fauci belongs to, but Fauci seems to have a vested interest in providing disinformation. So take it with a grain of salt, or like me, take it with a truckload. And shut up, Fauci. Fauci, shut up. Partisanship has untethered Americans' minds from objective reality, and this is part of the reason why people will believe whatever backs up their political nonsense. It's a bit of a problem, and I've been noticing it, have you? Not really a fan when people can't evaluate anything objectively. Did you know that in most of the country, you're four times likely, four times more likely to know a murder victim than a coronavirus death victim. Yeah, were you aware? Well, I don't know. Read the article on Zero Hedge if you haven't. From the Burning Platform vlog, blog, authored by Z-Man. The question we face in this age is whether it is possible to maintain a civil society with an abundance of people embracing an alternative reality. Fanatics, eccentrics, lunatics, I noticed there might be quite a bit of those, complete imbeciles on YouTube. Many monetized channels with tens of thousands of subscribers make thousands of dollars a month, where we make about two cents per hour making these videos, so cheers. Anyway, fanatics, eccentrics, lunatics, and so on have been part of human society since the beginning. The issue today is one of scale. Those leaky simulations have burst open, and our reality is now flooded with berserk imitations of normal people acting on a sense of reality that is at odds with objective reality. We're being overrun by simulacrum. Please don't suffer from derangement syndrome and hallucination. Try to observe reality objectively, we'll try to help. And have you noticed that for you can that this is annoying and obnoxious and not nearly as deadly as it's been claimed to be as the mortality rate drops and drops and drops and drops to the levels that I was forecasting months ago. Have you noticed a little bit of alarmism when it comes to governments and corporations and stupid idiotic rules that are utterly ineffective and NGOs and just regular Karens and Chads all over the internet saying, wear a mask, stay the F home, man. I know more about diseases than I know about my ass or a hole in the ground. Oh, look, HuffPo's breaking out the alarmism. Morgue trucks in Texas, 10,000 plus hospitalized. Oh my God. Let's talk about the most busted name in news, the Communist News Network, CNN, or you could call it the Climate Nonsense Network. 
OMG, Trump undercuts new virus strategy by hiding experts and facts. Oh my God, that sounds so scary. Oh my God, I've survived a global pandemic so far. Oh my God, it looks like you have too. And since you exist, uh, I think your ancestors probably survived actual cataclysms. Cheers. Congratulations. By the way, we are streaming the content live to Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash smashomash. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to press like and subscribe on YouTube as if that's going to make any difference with our analytics or get us paid a red cent per month. Again, we make about $2 per hour for the, for the videos. So please visit the other links below and consider supporting the channel financially as Google AdSense tries its best to bury our videos deep, deep, deep within search algorithm nonsense. We're also on BitChute for exactly that reason. Thanks to our new subscriber over there, as we have like 10 times as many views per day on BitChute as we do on YouTube. Thanks to our patrons, the real source of funding for the content. Whether you're an assistant or an associate producer of the content, look for the tier levels to change soon, as I've, I had a, I had a eureka moment yesterday about Patreon. We're also on Subscribestar, and there are also links to support us via one-time donations on PayPal, for instance. Also, we're dipping our toe into the wonderful, wonderful world of, world of merch. I think the shirt may be arriving today, as there's something scheduled to show up in the mail. Smashamash.org, check it out if you haven't. We'll be selling Smasher Price My First Pandemic shirts to celebrate as a souvenir of the infantile, idiotic, utterly ineffective, and ridiculous response by mankind to this little chida, that little virus that's made of chida. It's made of cheap plastic, and your immune system will probably squash it the way Paul Orndorff squashed people's heads during spike pile drivers. If you'd like to reach us for breaking news or anything like that, or if you'd just like to say hi, reach out to us at the Smash O VOIP line you can call or text Country code 1, area code 610-936-9799. That's plus 1, 610-936-9799. And thanks for tuning in to another episode of Smash Lights, part of the Smash stream, and spliced into the daily space weather. Keep in mind, these Smash Light sections may come on their own sometime, so you may want to check them out, as they will not always be snippets from the daily space weather.